This is a tutorial show you how I can get Cannonball installed and running with all the required ROMs and a few few options here just to show you how you can set things up and support um, analog uh, steering wheels if you've got one of those for your PC and a few other bits and pieces. So first thing you're going to need is obviously the program itself and you can get to that from this address up here. I'll put that in the video description as well. Um, I'm going to be downloading the Windows version here and I'm going to be using the OpenGL version. The software one is uh, exactly the same except it will use software rendering and that usually requires a bit more power from your processor but um, if, as it says there, if you have any compatibility issues um, then you might want to use that version. But for now I'm using this one. I've already downloaded that and a lot of other stuff which I'm going to explain. So here are my files that I've used there. And so I basically I've downloaded this file here, which is that file there. Make sure you've got that. And uh, as you can see on this page, it also says you'll need to install this, which is basically um, a Microsoft uh, library type thing there. Um, I didn't install that, so I think I've already got it installed. But yeah, obviously install that if you need to. Um, so that's already installed on my computer, so I'm not going to show you that part. You're also going to need this uh, Sega Enhanced pack here and there's a download link there. Again, I'll put links to all this in the video description. And you're also going to need the Outrun ROMs which you can get from this site here. Again, link in the description. So the files you're going to need from here, as you can see, these are the files there. So you're going to need uh, revision A and revision B. That is this A file here and outrun there. You're then going to need the deluxe sit down there and the Japanese deluxe sit down. Now um, just as you as I roll over the, the letters there if you look down there it will tell you what uh, zip it refers to. So that's outrun RA that one's just outrun on its own and we've got outrun deluxe which is the one that ends in DX and we've got outrun DXJ which is the Japan Deluxe sit down. So that coincides with all these files there. So if you just go through and download all of those. And also we're going to need this uh, file here, which is uh, BS Patch, which is part of this um, BS Diff, BS Patch utility. And the download is there. So you need to click that to download that. And that will give you uh, this file here. So you should now have all the files. And in case you're wondering, this excellent wallpaper, you can get that from here, which is uh, absolutely excellent stuff. And he does the same guy here, um, Artie Bones, does some really good stuff. Anyway, that's enough of that. So what we're going to need to do is expand this Cannonball file first. I'm just using 7-zip, you can extract it with whatever you want. Uh, so that one's there. Then uh, let's extract all the ROMs there. So I'm just going to extract them to their own folders for now. And in this ROMs folder that's inside the Cannonball folder, I'm going to select all from the Outrun one, copy that in there. Select all from the Deluxe, copy that in there. And so on. And so on. Ah. One minute. The last file actually in this Outrun RA folder, we're just going to need this one here. So it's 10381A.132. So I'm going to put that in there. So uh, you can leave the rest, don't need to do those. Um, so I'm just going to delete them now to avoid confusion. So that's got rid of them. So next thing we're going to need to do is this BS diff file here. I'm just going to extract that and the Sega Enhanced file. I'm just going to extract that. I'll explain what all these files do in a little while. So, uh, I just, whoops, pushing all the wrong keys today. <laughs> so I need to go into uh, Sega Enhanced, BS Patch, and the Outrun folder here. So in this folder, I need another window actually. In this folder, I need to go into the Cannibal folder, the ROMs, and there is a file in here, which is, where is it? Uh, this one, sorry for that. It's uh, 10188.71, and it should match this one here. So I'm gonna copy that into that folder. From this folder here, 
we're going to uh, close that and we're going to put BS diff and BS patch in that folder okay so next thing is we're going to go into your command prompt by the way I'm running Windows 8 uh, 64 bit but you can obviously do these things how you would normally do it on your own version of Windows it's pretty straightforward stuff just search for command prompt and you want to run it as an administrator so what we're going to need to do is find BS patches location just right click that and go to properties and then just uh, copy oops copy all of that right click copy go into here type CD for change directory Push space right click and push paste and push enter that's changed the directory to this folder now where um, BS patch is running so we're going to type in BS patch and then we're going to type the input which is the um, the file I'm inputting so it's OPR in fact let's just do it an easy way so I'm going to F2 to select uh, file then control A to select all and control C to copy and then I'm going to right click and paste then from there I need to put in the output file so this is what I want the file to be called so I'm just going to paste again I'm going to add the letter F to the end and another space and now I'm going to put in the name of the patch which is this file here so F2 control A control C and then from here right click and paste so what we're doing is we're running BS patch with our input file is this uh, 71 file here which was one of the original ROMs and then there's the patch file uh, sorry then there's the name it's going to be and then there's the patch file so okay so it's done that now and here is our file so back to the cannibal folder in the ROMs just make sure I did copy that yes so there's the original so now we're adding this to that and I'll explain what that is in a little while as well so we're almost there now I will just go back to the folder we can delete that we can delete that oops that's all still running isn't it so close that don't need that in fact we don't need any of that stuff now so what we've just done is we've put the put all the ROMs in there the reason why we've got all the ROMs from the different folders is because Cannonball supports the different versions of Outrun so the Japanese version the first one I think it was had slightly different tracks you don't have the sort of second easy stage where you're going through the sort of pillars and that sort of thing and also the the BS patch thing we just did basically apparently one of the um, audio files contained on the with the game had a slight glitch in it. it was one of the bytes was out of something and it made the sound sample not quite so good and basically we patched it with a with a slightly different version with that fixed and there is actually a slight difference if you played out one as much as I have then you will actually notice there is a difference but in a way I kind of I'm so used to how it used to sound that this fix is uh, don't know it just sounds a bit clearer on a certain type of instrument anyway so that's with ROMs so let's run it now after all that messing about just to make sure everything's working and fine um, I'm going to go through the settings that this supports so we can use up and down on the keyboard to select your options I'm going to push Z to select settings I'm going to go to game engine and change the tracks to Japan um, this will probably run a, a lot slower than it will look on uh, your computer because I'm recording this at 15 frames per second so anyway I've set it to the Japanese tracks and I'm just going to click play game again using Z okay that's working fine it's going to close that if it wasn't working fine in that sort of secondary window there you would get an error and it will tell you that the ROMs are missing and another thing I'm just going to do back in again click game modes and go to set enhance mode and again if you had any ROMs missing let's close that if you had any ROMs missing they would appear in that window there so we have all the ROMs we need and everything is configured so that's excellent okay so back in again and I'll just talk you through some of the settings here so obviously frame rate you want that at 60 frames per second so it looks a lot better and you can obviously go full screen widescreen mode makes it uh, uh, scale up better for your monitor because you're most likely on a widescreen monitor otherwise um, switch it off to make it more like the original high res as far as I know this only adjusts the road if you look at that you see the difference in the road quality and obviously window scale is how big you want to play it 
and you can put scan lines on each time you press it it increases that which works very well if you're windowed but not so much if you're full screen because it doesn't seem to scale it um, uh, and take a scaling if you like so it doesn't do it uh, an exact like two times amount or whatever so what you find is sometimes the scan lines look a bit uneven but it does do quite a good job of scaling up anyway um, sound you can go through a few of the options there fix samples on that was that extra file that we patched um, the F version and obviously music test in there and game engine I changed that to Japan just to play a different track um, and obviously the rest of it's just sort of various options the enhanced objects as far as I can remember there are a few sort of bugs in the game here and there and this uh, fixes them uh, one in particular is the second easy route where you're going through the pillars and you can sort of see gaps in the pillars and they don't quite match up I remember that from the arcade or well, this fixes that but the keys are um, at the moment on the keyboard up down left and right on the curse keys Z is um, accelerate spacebar is um, change gear but if you don't like any of that you can go into controls and redefine the keys or if you've got a gamepad you can redefine the gamepad um, but I'm not doing that so what I'm going to show you now is how to get this working with a uh, wheel which is an even better experience so inside here we've got a config file I'm going to edit that with notepad plus plus um, that's a very handy um, sort of raw text editor so to get this working with my wheel I'm scrolling down to where it says analog and I've put a 1 in there so it's enabled and I've also scrolled down to where it says force feedback and I put a 1 in there as well yours will probably already have a 0 in so um, I've saved that already so hopefully all of that wasn't too complicated and it all makes sense if it doesn't just send me a comment and I'll try and help you um, also hopefully this video has been useful to you if it has please give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these videos please subscribe or just encourage me to do more videos and I'll do some thanks very much for watching cheers